loves welcome back to my channel welcome if this is your first time here my name is day and if you like these types of videos go ahead and subscribe and join the family i do videos like this all the time so if you are into this type of thing um stick around and for those of you who have been here thank you guys so much for coming back to see me so in today's video we will be doing a what's in my bag on this speedy 25 i really love this bag um i just something about it guys <laughs> Something about the Speedy 25 is just so nice to me, especially in this Azure print. The Azure print, I've said it so many times, this is my favorite print from Louis Vuitton, even though it's not a print that I feel like a lot of people go towards because, I mean, look at it, it's super bright, it's super like um, delicate, you know what I mean? Um, anything can happen to it, but it's just so like, such a girly, cute piece to me, I just, I just adore it. So yeah, I'm really excited that I was able to get this earlier in the year. I think I have worn it maybe once though, just because the weather, um, you know what I mean? It's it's messy outside <laughs> and um, it's more like a, like a spring summer bag. Now don't get me wrong, you can definitely wear this in the winter, but just I haven't um, grabbed it just yet, but I know that I'm gonna grab it a lot in the spring and summer months. This is actually the largest bag that I own. I know the Speedy 25 is not that big to people, but it is the largest bag that I own because I am like a small bag, mini bag kind of girl. If you are familiar with Louis Vuitton, I generally gravitate towards um, a mini pochette on a daily basis. Um, I will wear a tall tree pouch to work or a tall tree uh, 26 to work with me so I generally don't carry big bags in general I don't have a never full I want one but even to me I'm thinking like what would I put in it because I really do not carry big bags um, but yeah let's get right into the bag I don't want to have to put it down because I know like what's in my bag videos you want to kind of be looking at the bag the entire time um but yeah I will say before we begin even though I have not worn it much the uh the kettle on it has already started to patina a little bit and that's just like natural i guess um even though i haven't worn it out i do like you know take it out sometimes and kind of like try it on in front of the mirror the mirror with an outfit or so and yeah the um vaquetta on the handles has already started to darken it's not something that i want to get super super deep i'm not really into that but um like i already have spoken to um people at Louis Vuitton that says you can easily obviously get it replaced repaired in the future so it's one of those things that I will probably get replaced like during the winter months or something like that um when the time comes I'm sure that won't be for a few years but yeah this is the inside of the purse I do have a bag organizer in here that I ordered from Amazon it wasn't like a super researched thing that I did like I literally just typed in like Speedy 25 bag organizer. It's not a Samorg, it's not something super fancy. It was really cheap, but I mean, it is what I needed it to do. I only wanted the organizer so that the bottom stays like straight like this. Um, and so that, you know, I would have a place to like put my wallet and my keys and stuff like that. So I didn't need anything really expensive. I think it was like less than like $10 or so. So okay. yeah, I don't have too much. But the first thing I want to take out is my wallet. I did a review on this. It's the Zippy Coin Purse by LV. My oldest piece that I have, I always take this with me. Um, and this just has like my major like cards, like the insurance cards and like, you know, just the bigger cards and stuff. I don't open this that much because the daily cards I, I keep elsewhere. But yeah, this is the first thing I have. Really do like that. The second thing I have in here is a lotion. This is the Jerkins Ultra Healing Lotion. Um, and it's just a nice little hand cream. I love little hand creams and stuff like this. So I always, always, always keep something like that in my bag. The next thing I have is the Purell um, hand sanitizing wipes. I either keep these or a pack of baby wipes in here. Just at the moment, I have these. I think they ran out of like the, the to-go baby wipes at the store. I was so upset about that. That's how you know I'm like getting older because <laughs> A little stuff like that irritates me like oh they're out of baby wipes like you know um but yeah so i just i settle for these and these are cool you know what i mean um hopefully they'll do the same get the job done i wouldn't use them on my skin or anything though i always keep a pack of kleenex in here um i buy you know the big pack that has the little ones in here and i pretty much go through like you know one like a day or every two days with me between me and my kids um so i keep that 
Next thing I have is my car keys. I do not own the Louis Vuitton key clay anymore. I miss it sometimes, but I know that I do not need it, especially for the price that it is now. I'm not buying that. Um, and I really, I really don't need it. Like, so I just keep my car keys loose. I don't need a key holder. I am trying not to make up an excuse to, you know, get stuff that I don't need. So I just have my little keys on this and it's so like quick, easy access. I don't have to like open up anything to use them. The only other thing I have with my keys is this little pocket knife. And um, I usually put this inside my mini pochette and it doesn't take up that much space. So I really like that as well. The next thing I have is actually um, my bigger pocket knife, which I only put this inside of like using my bigger purses and my mini purses. I, I already have a little knife on my uh, keys. But yeah, I just have that self-explanatory. You guys know I don't play and uh, people are crazy. So there is that. Um, the next thing I do have in here is this pouch. I'm going to put my bag down just to show you guys. This little pouch is from Victoria's Secret. Um, I think that this pouch is a perfect example of why you don't need a luxury catch-all. I personally don't think that you need a mini pochette or a toiletry pouch as a catch-all. I feel like if you're gonna buy one of those things, repurpose them, turn them into a clutch, turn them into a wristlet because if you just need something to put your little everyday like knickknack essentials in, get something like this, you know, it serves the same purpose. This is cute too and obviously not nearly as expensive, you know what I mean? So. That is my recommendation, but inside of this, I just have lady stuff, you know what I mean? Um, sanitary napkins, um, my hand sanitizer as well, so it doesn't spill out. I also have a scented hand sanitizer. Um, I do have like some like Tylenol in here. I have these little, um, little towelette things. Mainly like lady stuff. I have a Tide pen like Aquaphor, ooh, some rubber bands, some bobby pins. So this is kind of like my emergency kit. I don't take this out with me everywhere, but like if I'm on the road or going somewhere where I feel like I might, you know, just need something accidental, this is what I take. Definitely would recommend just going for something like this. They sell them at Victoria's Secret. Please don't buy <laughs> a $600 toiletry pouch just for toiletries. My recommendation. Do what you want to do, but my recommendation, okay? Um, back to the bag. What I have next in here, I just have one thing, which is um, my mini pochette. I'm using this Damier Band one at the time. And this literally I do use as an everyday little um, clutch. So in here, I have um, a lip gloss another hand sanitizer <laughs> um i have my little chanel mirror and i also have a pepper spray in here um in addition to that i have a few cards like my everyday cards and then um my airpods so this thing obviously i take this and switch it from purse to purse bag to bag or usually when i go into the store i will not take the whole speedy 25 inside of the store i like to be hands-free especially like in a like a walmart or something like that so i'll put this on my wrist and go so that is everything that is inside the bag i'm pretty sure is there there's nothing in um oh inside of the little zipper pocket thing i have um my keys i keep that in the bag i never go in there actually um but yeah i keep that inside of the bag and yeah it's empty i i think that this bag is so adorable like i feel like it's one of those things that if you ever think about selling it you look at it and you're just like oh, it's so pretty it's so nice i keep the little lock um right here and it's like a really you know it's a sturdy bag it's a nice bag it's a sturdy bag and it's actually an everyday bag this isn't like an instagram influencer type of bag anymore i'm gonna be honest with you it's not the most like popular hip trendy bags but i really do recommend not going for trendy things because that stuff come and goes like i mean come on that stuff really does come and go but your money <laughs> you know what i'm saying you would have spent something on a, a trend that came in and went so go with what you like i really like this um definitely recommend it it is a classic and yeah the good thing about this is like some people think like the speedy 25 like oh you see it everywhere you really don't anymore because you know people are stuck on the trendy stuff people see the trendy stuff everywhere and then you pull something like this out and they're like that's actually really nice i'm like you know i know <laughs> that's why i bought it but yeah super cute 
definitely really nice um, just in case anybody is interested because I know there's some people who are kind of new <laughs> to my channel um, I did order this directly from the Louis Vuitton website um, yes all my pieces are authentic sorry <laughs> for those who kind of like were looking for information um, I ordered this through client services so it is something I had to call and place a pre-order for and they shipped it to my home so yeah Super glad about it. Any other questions though, definitely drop them down below. But I appreciate you guys joining me for another video for a what's in my bag video. Let me know if you like stuff like this. I'll do it more often. Um, thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.